Now wait just a minute. There's another kind of moment anamorphic lens? Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos of Phones. Today, I'm here to talk to you about the Moment M series 1.55 times anamorphic lens. Let's get to it. To do this, I'm gonna make a little short film. I actually already shot the film like two weeks ago, but just go with me. But before I show you the film, I'll just run through what you're gonna see in this video. You can always just go to one of the chapters linked below. You'll see footage from the lens, discussion of the Moment M series versus the new T series lenses, how to attach the lens to your phone, and how to de-squeeze the footage. Now, onto the short film. These anamorphic lenses change the aspect ratio that you're shooting in. Sometimes you can shoot in 4.3, sometimes you can shoot in 16 by nine, sometimes you can shoot in 2.4 to one. For reference, here are the options in the native camera app. Now, here are the aspect ratios captured by the 1.33 and the 1.55 times lenses. To really hammer home this whole aspect ratio thing, I've decided to take inspiration from the undisputed aspect ratio king, Wes Anderson. I'm gonna start filming the film and start the film that I film right now. That's all, folks. So, how does this lens improve upon what your iPhone already can do? Now, I shoot most of my stuff on my iPhone 14 Pro Max, right? So it comes with three cameras, the 13 millimeter ultra wide, the 26 millimeter wide, and the 77 millimeter tele now. So something that I automatically think of is why can't you just slap black bars in post-production onto some 13 millimeter footage or really footage from any of them? And the answer is that you can, right? 
the video that I just shared with you, a lot of it I just shot in just regular 16 by nine on my iPhone 11 Pro actually, and just put black bars where I needed it in post just so that I could capture more shots because more variety of shots allows me for better options when I'm editing. But the, the fact of the matter is this anamorphic lens, that 1.55 times, it really squeezes out so much more than that ultra wide does, right? It kind of almost, it's not the same as, as the 14 millimeter fisheye, but it's a, it's a similar kind of look. And I would think if you were doing some sort of experimental something in a film, that this would be a, a really cool lens to use. Also, your, your native camera isn't going to give you that flare. And that flare is something that is really nice to be able to use when you use it tastefully. I'm thinking right now of a shot that we did in that garden where our heads passed through the sun and it kind of like broke the flare that was there. Um, that's not something that you can do in the native camera app at all. And then additionally, Moment claims that these anamorphic lenses do something for the depth of field of shots. I, I don't necessarily agree or disagree with that. Sometimes I feel like it does and sometimes I feel like it doesn't. I go back and forth. Um, if you feel strongly one way or the other, I'd love for you to comment just because I'd like to discuss it, but that, that's my personal opinion on that. Now, I feel like you should have gotten it at this point, but what this anamorphic lens is gonna do to your footage is it's going to create that super widescreen look, and it's gonna give you the option to have these lens flares as well. Now, in addition to just purchasing this lens, um, there are two, that's four, Joe. There are two things that you kinda need to know um, before purchasing. Thing number one is that you have to have some way to attach this lens to your phone. That seems fairly obvious to me, but I've read through Bowman's reviews and it's not so obvious to some people. There are really three options as far as I'm concerned. Option number one is a M-series case. Now, this leads me to a very important conversation. Um, Moment just came out with a new series of lenses called the T-series lenses. The M-series lenses were I believe, let me, I have my computer here. Okay, so Moments M series lenses were created at the beginning of 2017 because the smartphone sensors just continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. The cameras change slightly every new phone that comes out. And so Moment has to come out with new lenses to adapt to these changes. In my testing of the M series lenses for my iPhone 14 Pro Max, I noticed a couple of times where I wasn't so happy with the results around the edges of the images. And this is kind of why Moment is coming out with these new lenses, right? If you look at pictures of what the lenses look like, they're much bigger. And my thought would be that that kind of accounts for that larger sensor. My contact at Moment says that they're going to send me these lenses soon, so stay on the lookout for those upcoming videos. So the T-Series lenses are going to be ideal for newer smartphones. Thing number two that you need to know is that before that footage looks like it's supposed to look, you have to do something called de-squeezing the footage. De-squeezing the footage is exactly what it sounds like. It's taking the footage and squeezing it horizontally. As you squeeze it, it kind of creates those black bars. There are a couple ways you can go about de-squeezing the footage. If you aren't editing your videos on a computer, I recommend de-squeezing as you are shooting. To do this, you're gonna need some sort of third-party app. As far as I know, there are really three good ones. My favorite is Beast Cam from Bscript. You also can use the Moment Pro camera app, and then you can use Filmic Pro. Know of any other good apps? Comment them below. I'd love to add them to the pinned comment of this video. If you do edit your videos on the computer, I recommend de-squeezing like this in either Adobe Premiere Pro or Final Cut. And that's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button down there. It really helps photos of phones out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people. 
because of the algorithm. What are your thoughts on the moment 1.55 times anamorphic lens? Comment them below. If you do decide to purchase this lens, please consider doing so through one of my links down there in the video description. The small compensation that I receive really helps me make more videos just like this one. And as always, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. We're coming out with mobile photography and filmmaking, tips, tricks, hacks, reviews, unboxings, anything that you could want to know if you like taking photos and videos on your phone. Toodles. See you in the next one. Bye.